What I like about the United States, especially this part of the country, is the wide openness. This man is a farmer, but there is more to him than meets the eye. My name is Peter Baumann. I'm a chromosome biologist, and I'm interested in the maintenance and inheritance of genetic information. He only farms these 30 hectares of land here in the Midwest with his fiancée at his side, his hobby. I've long been fascinated by the idea of sustainable living. And you can do so much yourself with relatively little work, growing your own garden, raising your own animals. It's not that difficult to do. And it's a lot of fun at the same time. He has some of his best ideas when he is outside farming, says Bellman. I spend most of my days sitting in an office at a computer or at a microscope or at a lab bench. A lot of that is thinking and very little of it is physical exercise. I get here out on the farm, I dig in the soil, I work with animals, I build fences. It provides balance in my life. 23 years ago, Baumann, who is German, went to Great Britain and afterwards to Colorado to work in the laboratory of Nobel Prize winner Tom Cech and to Stowers Institute in Kansas City. There are certain aspects of my heritage, my, my personality traits that people say are very German. I'm a perfectionist. I like things to be precise, to be accurate, to be on time. And so it's very easy to say, oh, that's German. Now, I wear a hat and see... You can say, oh, wow, you look so American. But um, I, I think it's kind of missing the point. I've moved from Germany to the UK, from the UK to the United States. Both these moves were motivated by my work, by my interest in the science I was pursuing. And um, I'm now moving from the United States to Germany for the same reason. Discovering new things and learning. That has always been his drive no matter where or in which field. Today, Baumann is one of the leading specialists in the field of chromosome biology. In the past 15 years, he has raised and answered a number of interesting questions through his creative research approaches. It's a very fascinating time to be in biology because now there's technology at our disposal that really allows us to think about fundamental biological questions in a completely different light. Hey, Maggie. Hey, Peter. How does genetic material remain stable over the generations and reproduce itself? And also, how does cell aging or cancer occur? It is a joint task to understand this right down to the individual molecular processes. What we're seeing now is people from physics, math, computer science, chemistry, entering life science and bringing new sets of tools, new ideas, new ways of approaching problems. And that has resulted in an incredible acceleration of progress in the life sciences. Baumann's interdisciplinary research group has been, among other topics, researching telomeres, the ends of chromosomes. How are they protected? How does the body recognize defects? Baumann discovered a protein with a specialized protection function. Fact is, telomeres shorten over the course of our lives. Some theories suggest exactly this leads to aging and even cancer. Another interest that intrigued him were lizards that reproduce without any sexual contact. How do they mix up their gene pool? A few years ago, we made a breakthrough discovery that the chromosome number doubles before eggs are produced. Normally, when eggs are produced, the number of chromosomes is reduced by half, and a cell with half the number of chromosomes is also produced in the male. This discovery opened the door to many projects relating to the inheritance of genetic information, both in unisexually reproducing lizards as well as in other species. Which alternative forms has nature developed to guarantee genetic diversity, and why? This is the state lizard of New Mexico. This is a female. And there are no males to the species. These animals have arisen by hybridization between two sexually reproducing species. 
It looked quite different from this individual. And her ancestors then clonally reproduced for thousands of generations. Ultimately, it also relates to fundamental questions on how genetic information has been preserved and passed on for millions of years. All of these projects will now be continued in mines and receive new impulses. Bauman is excited about the Humboldt professorship and the new institute facilities. His fiancée is excited about the adventure of a new continent. What really excites me about Gutenberg University is that on one hand there's the Institute of Molecular Biology with a focus on genome stability, epigenetics, very close to my biomedical research on telomerase and chromosome instability. And on the other hand you have this broadly based community of biologists working in evolutionary biology, neurobiology, and provides uh, an environment that I think will be really terrific for my work. After 20 years in the USA, he is looking forward to continuing his exploration with the Humboldt professorship in Germany. We are the explorers of biology. Maybe what we are doing on that day is a small drop in the ocean, but overall our work contributes to helping cure diseases, help people live longer and better lives.